Well, I think it was like, uh, it didn't start with the doppelganger film. It started with the, the sort of exploration of what would happen if you sort of tried to leave all this craziness behind of modern day life and, and leave the city. And is there any way of moving off grid where you actually can be more present in life in, in a way? And um, and then we sort of thought, my screenwriter and I, what was the worst thing that can happen to these people? What's the worst thing that they can encounter? And that had to be themselves in their, this uh, exploration in, in, in uh, are we able to sort of leave our ego behind? Obviously, you always, I mean, you're, you have all your favorite films and everything you've seen and everything you love with you. So obviously I have some like cinematic preferences and, and, and stuff that I like. But uh, but no, actually we didn't have any like doppelganger or, or other direct uh, references actually. Because of that, this sci-fi premise sort of developed over time. So that was, uh, it started out with more of a like a, just uncanny drama thriller thing that, that turned into this lo-fi sci-fi uh, premise. I mean, definitely it's uh, it's been fun to, to travel around. I, I didn't, I mean, I get to see as many films of other filmmakers uh, that I would love, I'd love to, but we were just in a, in uh, Bhutan in South Korea with the film and saw, uh, it's a genre film festival and we saw like, um, yes, I saw some films there that was, uh, that were brilliant and we also had these, some of them like uh, lo-fi kind, sci-fi kind of uh, sci-fi or other sort of premises that was uh, the genre also where like metaphorically and and drama art house kind of thing which i really love yeah i mean obviously we have we have one location that has to to do a lot um we actually found the location uh in the first we did like a pilot for the for the film before i mean on a very early stage before we had the story actually we did we did a pilot uh, and when we find that f found that location and we really love that because obviously it's just you can see the lake from the house and it's an entire glass house it's very difficult production wise with this glass house metaphorically speaking and 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 as you say the contrasts of nature and this technology and the architecture is 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 fairly perfect and it was such an interesting challenge for us to like uh, have this kind of almost one location film but but that it was to, to have like in the second half of the film, it's something, it's, it's a new location. It never really did, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, n not really. And, and I never really myself found that perfect balance of like, it's like, it's either this or that and, and nothing is perfect, but, but I still choose this. It's very, I mean, it feels like it's very important. I mean, it's, um, uh, at least, I don't know, but in Denmark, it's like, uh, we were just talking about it. Uh, I was just talking about it with another journal journalist that he just watched like some independent uh, Danish film that's like a huge masterpiece. It's uh, like 20 years old, but by then, at that time, it was mainstream. And sort of the, the, the development in, in that sort of uh, more art house stuff has, and independent stuff has become uh, more difficult to sell uh, in general, and that's obviously for someone like me, it's a huge shame because I feel like you can you can combine that that entertainment with art house easily, uh, but but it's becoming more difficult. Uh, it's definitely different than it was like 20 years ago. So so to me, it's like extremely important with with film festivals because it's one of the only places that you actually keep that alive and you you go see other filmmakers you go see how many people in the world are actually passionate about cinema like real cinema and uh, not that it's not real cinema but but non-commercial just that it's just not just uh, commercial but but yeah just cinema in general that's that's really wonderful